Cases of COVID-19 rising in the state of Georgia. 3 p.m. update from the Georgia Department of Public Health has the current number of confirmed cases at nearly 66,000. An increase of a couple of hundred since yesterday. The state is also reporting over 2,600 people have died from the virus. The number of tests coming back positive related to tests processed is still around 8%. Now, over the weekend, the Peach State saw its largest daily increase in cases since mid-April, the most new cases in a week ever. So are more people getting sick or is it due to increased testing? Chelsea Bynfor explains. Once again, it's not over. Um, it's, it's probably not going to be over anytime soon. As Georgia approaches 66,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases, health officials say you shouldn't pump the brakes on personal protection. People are, are not taking certain measures into account with the reopening of the state, people might think, oh, well, now I'm safe. I don't need to wear my mask. I don't need to stand six feet apart. I can go to all these parties and I can sit close to other people. That's not the case. This weekend, Georgia reported an increase of roughly 1,800 cases in a day, the largest increase on record since April 17th. The state also posted 8,000 new cases between June 14th and Monday, the most COVID cases ever in a week. And the only way we can we can kind of get those numbers down is for everybody working together. Another number that's up, hospitalizations. On this chart, you can see they've been trending downward since May, but rose slightly over the last week, which is depicted in orange. Michael Hawkinson with the North Central Health District says as of Sunday, 509 COVID patients had been hospitalized in their 13 county district, which includes Bibb, Houston, Peach, Monroe, and nine others. We know it's not fun. We know it's not, it's not exactly everybody's favorite thing to, to not be able to gather together to go to parties, but these, these are sacrifices that we sometimes have to make to prevent the spread of a, a illness that can ravage a community. Again, just because bars, restaurants, and malls reopen, health leaders say you should still wear a mask, try to social distance, and wash your hands to help prevent the spread. Michael Hawkinson says earlier this month, the North Central Health District was averaging about 23 new cases per day. Last week, that number jumped to about 30 new cases.